is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. All right, don't forget, folks, at Canesware, use our code BIG010. You will get 10% off anything in the store. And if you don't live close by, you can order online over $99. You will get free shipping and use our code BIG010. You will get 10% off of that. They've got all kinds of inner Miami gear, messy jerseys and shirts and flags. They've got also Dolphins gear. They've got a lot of classic Dolphin hats with the old logo and of course they've got plenty with the whale logo on it too uh they've got panthers gear stanley cup stuff also and they've got marlin stuff too so go check it out man it's miami fan where they got it all for you there go see uh go say hi to brett and all the fantastic people jeff john they know how to take care of you there at uh, caneswear.com all right manny uh this is uh something that i heard and I don't know. I guess it's because I don't have great expectations yet for him, for them because Mario has to kind of convince me on, on game day that he's the guy. And so somebody said that if Mario doesn't make the 12-team playoff, the season's a failure. Is that accurate? Well, I, I would say this. The way I look at it from a national perspective, I think Miami, if, if Miami doesn't make it to the ACC championship game or doesn't make the playoff, they, they fail both of those regards, then then the season's a failure. But I think there's a chance, oh, that they could there, make the ACC championship game. They're not mutually exclusive, you think. Right. right. I think I think Miami could make the ACC championship game and it's not okay. make the playoff and, and get screwed. You know what I'm saying? Versus yeah. the other way, they could also miss the ACC championship game because of a tiebreaker or whatever. Because you got, remember, it's seventeen teams now. You don't just win the division, so they could lose one ACC game. But if Florida State and Louisville also only lose one ACC game, they might have the tiebreaker to get in ahead of Miami. Right. So it's just you know, and then they could still make the playoffs. So it, there, there's so many different variables. So to me, I think the blanket way to say it is if they don't at least make the ACC championship game then they better make the playoff, right? There better be an either or. One of the two has to be accomplished. And I think so in, they, other, in, other, in other words, they have to make some kind of a postseason. Yeah, they have to do they have to advance to some level of the postseason. I think if they don't do that, then I think we're going to look at this season and say they underachieved. Yeah, you know, I, I don't play the oh they I I think this is a win, this is a loss, but I'm looking at them like, okay, well then are they an eight win team? Or because they were their their talent was better than what they won last year. They should and have been I, a nine win team last year, right? Oh. And, and exactly, at least a nine win team. And so, you know, what are they supposed to be this year? Yeah, what do you say? I, I, nine, you nine, know nine, more than I do. Las Vegas says nine and a half is the over under. So I mean, if Las Vegas is saying nine and a half, and the best teams in college football are ten and a half, if Ohio State, Georgia. And Oregon are the three best teams in the country, which everybody seems to think those are the three best teams in the country. Then, and you're and you're only one game behind that. What does that say? It's, it's telling you, you should win at least ten games, right? And if you win at least ten games, then you are in the playoff discussion. Now, look, a lot of things can happen. This is the first time we've ever done the twelve team playoff. We know the reputation the ACC has. They had an undefeated champion last year get screwed and not make the playoff. Right. Florida State deserved to get in there and they got hosed. So do I believe that the ACC is going to get two teams in? They should. Is it going to happen? Maybe not. Right. Yeah, <laughs> no, if the ACC looks mediocre like last year, you're right. It affects everything. It may, it, it may just be the ACC champion. So that's why I, I say to you the scenario of, well, if they at least advance to the championship game and even if they don't win, that's a step forward for the program because they would have had to have won probably nine or 10 games to get to the ACC championship at the very least. So uh, to me, uh, that's the most important thing for Mario. Get to the postseason, show real improvement, compete, contend for a playoff spot. And if you get hosed, what can you do, right? College football, it's got its own agenda. The SEC and Big Ten make all the money. Uh, you're playing at a deficit right now in that regard. So I, it's not an even playing field. But as long as you do, you take care of your business in the league and you make the ACC championship game, then I think you're, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You know, um, 
by you talking about this, you're making me think deeper and looking into a, a bigger overall picture. Oh my God. This is like, this is a daunting task for the conference, the ACC overall. They as a whole need to load up as much talent as possible. They as a as a, overall as a as a group need to go out and have a lot of success and rattle a lot of trees and rattle the voters and say, hey, 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 guys, yeah, those conferences might be making more money, but we got some teams here that can kick their asses. And if the ACC is not performing in the overall stage, yeah. uh, you're also burying your own conference and you're also really distancing yourself as number three from number one and number two. So uh, it's almost imperative that the ACC, it's not just UM and Florida State and Clemson, the obvious ones, but others that that they need they need to lift all ships there. They need to make sure that they are as as deep and as successful as possible if they ever want to get back some power. You're absolutely right. And and I think, you know, unfortunately, we live in an era now where 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 the TV is really the one that runs college football. Oh, and uh, oh. you know, Fox and ESPN paid a lot of money uh to 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 broadcast these games and they influence the people who make the decisions who make the playoffs so uh i i would say you're playing at a huge disadvantage which is why you know people used to make fun of the sec right you would hear sec chants right you'd go to a, the basketball postseason you start hearing sec chants and they're all sort of rooting for each other um it it, it matters it matters in the overall image of your of your league to have like you need Clemson to go and play Georgia tough, if not beat them in the first, you know, the first game of the season for those two teams. Miami's playing Florida. That's a huge ACC SEC reputation game. And, you know, the SEC, look, they've been the best conference for a long time now. Oh, uh, you know, people talk about, oh, it's the SEC and Big Ten. Big Ten finally won a national championship last year with Michigan. Like they really have not been as competitive maybe as they want to be. They had Ohio State. Uh, not too far before that, but I mean, it's really just been Ohio State for a while as the only sort of team to to carry the flag for the Big Ten. But there's a lot of bias against the ACC. Last year, the ACC beat the SEC in head to head matchups. They had a better record than the SEC in those head to head matchups. So uh, winning those games is super important for your reputation, for the league's reputation. And that's why, like, you can't just think of this as Miami against the world. No, you need your league to play well. So you hit it on the head. It's absolutely fact. Yep. Yep. No doubt about it. Hey, remember, Canesware, use our code Big O10. You will get 10% off. Go get that inner Miami gear, man. They what a performance yesterday in League's Cup against Toronto, man. That was just absolutely dominant, dude. Uh, the way they performed, making all kinds of mistakes and still proving that they were way better. So get uh, get some heron stuff there. At Canes, where what do you got going on in the athletic, my man? Oh, well, listen, uh, there's I've been all preseason stuff, man. Like, just we're we're all trying to crank out preseason content. You know, we've got profiles. I, I had to do one on Florida State because they're considered the favorite to win the F uh, to win the ACC. So we had, we're doing team profiles on the twelve contenders, right for the for the twelve playoff spots. I did a big one on Florida State. Um, I'm doing uh, ACC previews. I am doing. Uh, everything man my preseason predictions come out august 15th next week so i had to do like uh look at the, the coaches top 25 and make all of my predictions for every single one of those teams so it is what it is man just just busy time of year for me cranking out content and uh hopefully i can get back out to miami soon and watch one of these practices again i've just been i've been so busy doing everything else brother that it's uh it's busy but i got a, I got a busy schedule man i'm looking i'm planning road trips i'm gonna be like at miami usf i'll be at miami florida Nice. I'm going to be at FSU Memphis, I think, on the 14th, which is a kind of a big game. Memphis is going to be one of the best group of five schools. Probably be at UCF in Colorado when 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 Dion comes to town. So, I'll, you know, busy time of year, brother, just planning for all that stuff and getting ready. You're like Sagua Fair. You're everywhere. <laughs> That's right, bro. That's correct. Hey, how about us, bro? We're traveling Dolphins Bills in yep. Niagara. We're going Dolphins Colts in the center of the country. We're going Dolphins Seahawks out yes. northwest. And we're going Dolphins Rams, baby. Nice. How about nice. That, huh? Yeah, listen, man. That's oh, that's amazing. what it's all about. 
That's that's it, baby. Yeah, I used to do that all the time with QAM. Yeah. Anyway, uh, follow him on Twitter <laughs> at Manny underscore Navarro. That's Manny underscore Navarro, and follow him again there at the Athletic with our Canes Wear Miami Hurricanes report. And now it is time. We're going to turn it on the other side with the big cheese, but let's close it out here with Canes Wear. 